All right, so folks, what I want to do on here is literally learn about Apple Script. This is what I want to do today. Um, because one thing I do with Touch Portal is have it start up different pieces of software for me in a certain order, but the thing it can't do is arrange the windows. Is there a Twitch programming category? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Josh. With the hookup. What is this? Oh, let's go. So, yeah, so, so about 11. Yeah. Just jump into the Discord and be like, please, good sir, Johnny, can I please, please play the top 10 game? Yo, Josh, I appreciate that. This is, I'm literally going from like zero here. Bounds the position property. Okay, let me just put some hard-coded numbers in there. Isn't that how you comment in here? How do you do a comment in in a script, in yeah, Apple Script? I. Oh, does it just? Oh, I gotta hit play. Yeah, yeah. No, it's dash, it's dash, dash, or... You can also use... Okay, cool. It's just weird that it doesn't update real time. You have to hit play for it to do something. But even, even if that's true, shouldn't there be a way to, like, automate even, like, this? Like, grabbing this and, like, doing that action, you know? What am I scripting? I'm trying, I'm trying to... Well, I'm trying to just start learning how to use Apple Script, but I, I, my hope was to start by having it uh, resize some windows for me. Because I have a little script in Touch Portal that starts all my... Uh, starts a handful of apps for me in a certain order. Um, but I would like to be able to position them on the screen where I want them to. And then eventually, if I can get better at this, then I could start doing stuff like talking to Ableton or, I mean, I mean anything really. And then in Touch Portal, I could attach any of these Apple scripts to like chat commands and stuff, which is nuts. When channel points are redeemed for ID CXM control, then we're going to set value with ID current controller to value switch uh, last channel points redeemer all right so current controller is redeemer And then so Craig what I'm doing here is that I've I've been working on a, a lot of chat MIDI control of my pedal board and I've got it I, I still need to tweak a bunch of stuff but I've got the functionality where anyone in chat can write do a thing and, and control my board and that's cool. I'm trying to set up a thing, do a little proof of concept where someone in chat could redeem a channel point thing. Um and and basically the the redemption would be, oh, you get to have exclusive control of my pedal board for a certain amount of time. So what I'm trying to do here is is do some conditional statements to say if Basically, only let one person in chat um, 
do these commands. No, this is it. I just got it. This is it. No, we got it. Here. I can do if file. So I can, instead of writing to a variable, I'll write to a file. And then we can do if file has contents equal to. Wait, no, it's the same problem. What I'm trying to do, check, check this out, Jank. Tell me if you think this would be possible. If I could find something something to combine like combine these two values together or like uh like i was hoping to do some uh, regex thing where it's like okay if these two values are the same then like uh delete the whole thing ma make their nothing like only show the difference between two values and then i could say and then i could write that to a file and then i say if that file is empty then this person can control you know? Oh, wait. Craig earlier asked about the, the balls thing. The bouncy notes. I'll, I'll go over that really quick. So we got this bouncing balls thing. which It's in auto mode, so there's no MIDI input at all to it. Um, and then I go into a little MIDI velocity compressor. Um to make sure I don't go into super low velocity ranges. And then it um, is playing into a contact instrument, which is the Celesta from the factory library. And then that goes into a little compressor and then a little reverb. And that's what you're hearing. Oh, hold on. You might be able to subtract a text text from other other text in which case I could do current controller so oh, three equals uh, ooh this could do it this could do it values current controller minus subtract Oh my god. Ken, it worked! Not cool. So you guys doing the CXM, it's it's saying it's saying it's saying oh James SMDH minus Andy Offling does not equal zero. <laughs> and so the only the only time that value is gonna be empty is when I do it. Cool. Yeah. That's it. Not cool. So again, I'm I'm am manually setting the current controller. That's like as if th this part right here is like as if someone has redeemed the channel point reward. I've set this value to be whoever whoever is who that that's the name of whoever will be allowed to control the board. Right. The second value is pulling in um, cause this event is on, on chat message event. Any message that starts with exclamation point CXM will trigger this event. And that's from everyone, literally everyone. Um, and so the, the first value is whoever is supposed, is supposed to be controlling the board. That's going to be already set. The second value is the, is the username of the person who just ran this command. And then this third value, and then what we do here is we say this third value is equal to um, the name of the person who did the channel point reward minus the name of the person who no. called, called the command in chat. And then I say if that new value is empty, I don't know. I, other, it, so if it's empty, that means that per that then we can allow that person to control the cxm so look can if, if i change this value right here current controller to k ship now now you're the only one right yeah it's subtracting letters i don't know why it works but apparently it does <laughs> cool yep now ken's in control 
But so right here, this is for messing with the mix on CXM. Um, so, and w when this needs to happen, obviously right here is the MIDI message. Um, changing the actual value on CXM. But the other thing I do right above it is this open and clear file command. So I open a file in my Dropbox that's just, and I have, I have a text file for each parameter on each pedal. And so I open this file, cxmmix.txt, um, and write off, just the word off, because this is for when the CXM mix is off. Um, and then in OBS, uh, watch this. If I, if I go to my little nested scene that's CXM state like this, this will be hard to see because of studio mode. You see on the left here, this is just an unnested scene called CXM state. And all it is, is a bunch of text inputs. So the mix is just reading from this Dropbox file. So that's how I can have everything on OBS update in real time. Because Touch Portal is writing to files and OBS is reading them. That's all. Does that make sense? It's a little aside, I guess. <laughs>